Today in this video, we are going to talk about cryptocurrencies are still down and the crashing is still going. So before starting this video, please like this video and subscribe to our channel for future updates. Let's start. Cryptocurrency prices slid again in early morning trading when the Bureau of Labor Statistics released the U.S. Consumer Price Index. CPI rose 0.4% to 8.2% over the past 12 months. This was higher than the 8.1% that the market was anticipating. In addition, core CPI, which doesn't include energy and food prices, rose 0.6%. These factors have led many investors to assume that the Federal Open Market Committee will raise interest rates again in November. In the FOMC's September meeting minutes released Wednesday, they affirmed that the committee's goal is to return inflation to their 2% objective, according to the CME Group's FedWatch tool. The market is currently pricing in a better than 97% chance of a 75 basis points rate hike in November and a 3% chance of a 100 BPS rate hike. Bitcoin dropped more than 4% in early morning trading. With a more than 6% loss, Ethereum was down even further. In addition, other leading altcoins were down as well. XRP lost more than 5%. Cardano was down more than 7%, and Solana was down more than 8%. Bitcoin has lost about 60% of its value since the beginning of the year. With its current price below the $19,000 threshold, Ethereum prices are now down more than 67% year-to-date, trading slightly above $1,200. That's well off Ethereum's all-time high at nearly $4,000. $4,900 in November 2021. Traditional markets dropped as well. The Nasdaq Composite was down more than 2% during the first half hour of trading, while the Dow Jones Industrial Average and S&P 500 were both down more than 1%. Selling pressure. Some cryptocurrency investors have argued that Bitcoin and other cryptocurrencies could be used as a hedge against inflation during the digital era. But price action in cryptocurrencies suggests the market doesn't seem to see these highly volatile assets as reliable stores of value during periods of economic uncertainty. As retail and institutional investors have become increasingly interested in cryptocurrencies as investment vehicles, crypto has begun to move more in tandem with the broader markets. That's despite cryptocurrencies generally being a riskier asset class. Investors are seeking shelter from the negative economic impact of the Fed's monetary tightening, and they just aren't seeking it in the cryptocurrency market. What you need to know about crypto investing, early investors in Bitcoin, Ethereum, and other cryptocurrencies have made a killing. As we've seen over the last year, a down market can rapidly turn into a bull market. But the cryptocurrency market has a long history of extreme volatility, which is not what investors are looking for in uncertain market conditions. Bitcoin alone has had several deep pullbacks of more than 80% throughout its history. Most recently in 2018, the original crypto is not tied to physical assets or intellectual property and doesn't generate cash flow or pay a dividend or interest to investors. Should you buy the dip in crypto? When buying the dip, crypto investors should proceed with extreme caution. When asset prices decline as rapidly as they have in the crypto market recently, it can make that coin you've had your eye on look like a super deal. But old Wall Street professionals have a rule of thumb that aptly describes moments like this. Never try to catch a falling knife using your imagination. You should understand that catching a falling knife Arca buying the dip nearly always ends painfully. That's not to say that skillful investors can't make a quick buck trading on heightened market volatility. But the point here is that big, fast market moves can be unsettling for the typical retail investor. So this is our today's video. If you like my video don't forget to subscribe to my channel or hit the bell icon. We will meet again with another interesting topic till then stay safe and stay happy.